What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite channel. is back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on XRP and crypto. Today, we're going, going to be taking a look at XRP, seeing where the price is heading. And guys, I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are not discouraged by this coronavirus and staying quarantined. I know a lot of people are suffering by this virus and being quarantined uh, financially, and I hope that things change very soon for everybody. And I believe it will change very soon. So I, I'm, I'm thankful that everybody that's, you know, still, that everybody's still alive again today. For that to happen throughout this whole process. So you guys are safe yet again, and that your families are blessed, and that your families are safe during this time, in this season that we're in. So I just want to say, you know, before we start, you know, this video, I want to give you guys a scripture. I actually just opened my Bible and it came right to this scripture. It's Psalms 106. And I'm just going to read as far as the Lord, you know, guides me to read. So it, it reads, praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his mercy endures forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can declare all his praise? Blessed are those who keep justice and he who does righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor you have toward your people. O visit me with your salvation, that I may see the benefit of your chosen ones. That I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory with your inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers in Egypt did not understand your wonders. They did not remember the multitude of your mercies, but rebelled by the sea, the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power known. All right, I want to stop there. Because I could read more and more. I want you guys to really understand that these times that we're living in, it's it's built up to the stage where God's going to be, you know, really looking for the people who really truly want to serve him. And he's going to start sending out his chosen people to go do his kingdom work. So I hope you guys are really seeking the Lord, fasting and praying. I'm trying to make time for that and do better in that situation and area because part of this message is for myself too. So it's not just for you guys, it's for myself included. So I hope we all together make a decision to seek the Lord and continue to, you know, stay in his righteousness and goodness and continue to strive for uh, peace. And not just peace, but also strive to push the kingdom because the kingdom comes before anything else, before our families, before our sons and daughters, before our parents, before our businesses, before anything else. So I hope you guys understand and hope you can hope you continue to seek the Lord with all you have with sincerity. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into this analysis. Uh, I see a, well, it's been a bullish TK cross signal, which is a weak signal in the Ichimoku system. Uh, so a bullish TK cross underneath the clouds means it's weak signals, just so you guys know that. Uh, right now, as you see, this is currently where price is at. Price is just, you know, slowly declining from here. You don't really see the good, uh, a clean picture of it, but let's go ahead and look at it from the four hour time frame because I think a lot of moves could happen very soon. I'm just going to be very patient for this because the, the move has not set up completely. And I don't want to just jump into a trade and be stuck in a trade that I'll regret later. <laughs> I don't like trading with, uh, you know, blindly with no substance behind it. All right, so as you see here, if I zoom out, let me go ahead and do that for you guys. You know, price has been following this trend line until up until now it broke out at this level. It came here, bounced. It actually broke out here, came and bounced. It came back into this level here. 
and you see it try to test and break it back above this trend line, but it failed to do so. So now you see that price is underneath the cloud, not just prices underneath the cloud, but also if we take a closer look with what's going on, let's take a look at the RCI. So RCI is showing us bearish signs as well that price wants to continue to the downside. I believe once we get a once we get our signal to cross below, price is gonna you know drop. So I may put my entry right here for for breaking this fractal to the downside. Uh, it's too early to enter this trade because Chiku Span is still giving us uh, signs not to enter this market yet. So we may range between this price at 19 and six, but in between 18, let's see, is that 18, 17 and 99. So we are, we're gonna be ranging it probably between here for the next couple days, probably even one more week before we get a clean breakout. Uh, Chiku Span is saying it's not ready yet, so I'm, I'm gonna give it some time. Uh, let's see what the one hour is showing us one hour is showing us the same i do see that price could potentially move up at this current moment uh we see that the rci is moving to the upside which is showing that trend may make its way up as you see here it's showing bullish signs right now and we're getting rejection off this kumo right here so price may come up to this level uh, i'm putting if I'm a trade, this is where I'm going to trade it to. That's a 2% gain, which is not bad. I think that's pretty much where price wants to go. There's no signal on the one hour that is going up, but trend is showing that it wants to move to the upside at this current moment. Let's see. If we look at it on the 15-minute time frame, let's see what's going on there. You never know because market always likes to, you know, save face. So right here... You see it's already moving up. Trend is up. So once we get across here, I'm expecting the market to come back up to this level or maybe even here, but definitely reaching up to this level. That's what I see. And if it does manage to get past this level, we'll be looking at this next level as a take profit area. But I see the market going up for the meantime. Uh, the bears are slowly starting to take over once again. There's no signs of the market, you know, gaining strength right now i see prices dumping uh, probably you know in the next week or two and we'll see what goes on from there let's check out the weekly time frame to get a better indication of what's really going on so let's go ahead and see that so we already see rejection right here so price may want to come down let me go ahead and zoom in in this area so you see that we're already turning bearish now we did have you know successful weeks of you know bullish momentum but each time we got strong rejection we got rejection and we got rejection each time there was no clear push without rejection so market got weak at this level and I expect market to start coming down. So if we're gonna play this off the weekly time frame, let's go ahead. Let's see, where's my Fibonacci? Okay, here we go. So right here, Fibonacci, gotta throw that on really quick. And this will be the end of the video. So where I see price potentially going, as far as Fibonacci levels, I'm gonna just mark these areas red and that's where I'm, targets will be at for this. So first take profit level will be around 50, 50, I said 50. <laughs> we haven't seen 50 in a lot while. So 15 cents, like almost closer to 16 cents, but 15 cent level right here 14 and last but not least 13 if we manage to get past these levels we'll definitely see a sub you know 11 10 cent price 
So that's what I'm looking at right now. And then you see the RCI is very strong to the downside on, you know, with this. So I don't expect prices to come up right now. I'm expecting another drop in this market. And we might get a worse drop than the last one. I'm just saying, be prepared for that, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the price and where you think we're gonna go. And until next time, stay blessed and stay safe. God bless you guys and peace.